Hi, my name is Mateusz Kamiński. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure essential tools to build your own programs for STM32 series microcontroller. Now you will create a folder called STM32 Toolchain on your C drive, where, where you will be unpacking your downloaded tools. The first step is to download Eclipse Integrated Development Environment for C, C++ developers. Search for Download Eclipse, go to Download section and search for Eclipse for C, C++ developers. Select proper version of your Windows operating system. Select one of available mirrors and start download downloading. Next move is to download Toolchain, Compilator, Linker and Debugger. Find Freddy Shopping web page. Go to Download. Select Bleeding Edge Toolchain. and click Download. Select the proper file and wait for the file. Now you need to download set of core utils including echo program. Go to download section, find core utils and download core utils. Now download OpenOCD. Search for OpenOCD and download the OpenOCD. Now you need to download drivers for ST-Link programmer. Search for ST-Link driver Find ST-Link driver for your Windows and then download the drivers. Next step is to download GNU ARM plugin for Eclipse. Search for Eclipse GNU ARM plugin and then download the file. Now you need to download program called Zadig that helps installing drivers for USB devices. Search for Zadig and download the file. Now check if you have downloaded all the necessary files. Now unzip all files except new ARM plugin. Now you need to install ST-Link driver. Click for the file, click run, click next, next, next. Wait for the file and click Finish. Now install Core Utils program. Click Run. Click Next. Accept the license. Now set the install path to C Core Utils. The path could not include brackets. Click Next and finish the installation. Now plug your STM32 board to your PC. Now check Install Drivers. Run Zadig. List all devices, 
find as the link device and change install drivers to win USB. After installation click finish. Eclipse is written in Java and needs a PC with installed Java for proper working. You can read about it more on this side. Now run Eclipse. Go inside your Eclipse folder and cut the content. Go to your STM32 toolchain folder and paste Eclipse folder. Then delete empty folder. Now go inside Eclipse folder and run the Eclipse. Click run. Now you need to set the proper workspace. Search for your STM32 folder. and create a new folder and name it workspace. Press OK, OK again. Now close the home screen. Now install plugin for Eclipse. Click help, then install new software. Click add archive. Search for downloaded zip file with GNU ARM plugin. Insert the name GNU ARM. Check the box next to GNU ARM. And then click Next. Next once again. And now accept terms of license. And then Next again. Now accept the warning. And restart the program. Now create a C project for, for ARM microcontroller. Select executable and then select a proper STM32 Series project. Click cross arm git gcc and give project the name stm32 project. Click next. The window contains information about project settings. In first line is name of a chip family that will be used in standard per peripheral library. In second line we put size of microcontroller's flash memory and third line shows what's the frequency of external oscillator. Here are the default names of folders where Eclipse would put source files. If you don't need two configurations, select only one debug configuration. Click next. Now select toolchain path to bleeding edge bin folder. Click finish and now 
wait until the new project is done. Now right click on your project name and press build project. As you can see, there is no problem after compilation. Now, configure external tools that will allow you to program your microcontroller. Select external tools configuration. Right click on program on the left and select new. As a location, select browse file system and search for OpenOCD 64.exe in your STM32 toolchain folder. Now set working directory to debug folder in your project. Press OK. Now place proper arguments including the name of the ELF file. The first two lines tell what's the interface and target. Third and fourth line initiate loading process of the ELF file. In the last line, microcontroller is reset and the connection is shut down. Click Apply. Now, run the configuration. Remember to plug your microcontroller to PC before. Allow access. And you have just programmed your microcontroller with default project. Now, Configure external tools for debugging microcontroller. Click external tools configuration. Now change the configuration name to STM32 V2 load. Click apply. Right click on existing configuration and click duplicate. Now change the name of the new configuration to STM32V2 start. Now delete unnecessary arguments that loads program to microcontroller. Click apply and run. Now PC is connected to your microcontroller score. Next step is to set proper GDB configuration. Click on debug configuration. Select new GDB hardware debugging. In debugger page set GDB command to arm non-EAB GDB. In build folder of your downloaded bleeding edge tools in your STM32 toolchain folder. Click open. Now Set JTAG device as generic TCP IP and change the port number to 3333. Click Apply. In Startup page, uncheck Reset and Delay and Hold and type Monitor 
reset hold. Now set breakpoint at main function and click apply. Then debug. Now turn off the changing view of perspective and run program by pressing the green arrow. You have just launched debugger.